Muslim and ethnic dad. So, Saima, ito yung game to ganyan, you are Muslim. So, famous or familiar sa inyo ang pangalan. So, very good. So, ang ethnic dance, ngunit siya ang... So, ang nangapiingon sa inyo, ang kanyang ethnic dance is somehow not considered as Philippine folk dance. Pero, tungod kay naman tayo occupational dance, so that's why ma-fall ma yun siya sa folk dance. So, for example, some of the occupational dance are the festival dance, the yeah, ethnic dance, na atong mga ceremonial dance, the wedding dance. So, ang familiar ako sa occupational dance is the festival dance. So, some of the examples of the festival dance as are the sinolog, ati-atihan, then sa pa, kaamulan, frambukidnon, so that's it. Very good. Abalo mo dahil muna. So, next presentation will be the examples of folk dances and its classification. So, first we have the katutubo dance. This dance is from the mountain province. So this dance is inspired from the people in the Philippine mountain provinces. The group is called Eagle, which consists of people from the remote areas in the mountain provinces. So remote areas, so mga bukid, mga kasulok-sulukan, pag hindi mga bukid. So kita niyo sa picture, they are wearing bahag. So mo gina siya. Muna ang trademark na costume nila sa katutubo dance. Isod ko, kita bilin mo katutubo dance sa isod o barong Tagalog, di ba wala? So, can you give me an example of Katutubo dance? Anyone? Katutubo dance? Bama? Yes, Bama is some of the mountain province dance. Bama, mga sayo sa igurot, yung anak. So, muna siya. So, proceed na ta. Next dance is the Kapa Malumano. This dance is a Philippine Muslim dance. So, makarelate si Miss Samander Ani. So the Kapa Malumalong is a Muslim is a Muslim dance, also called the Sambisa Malong. This Maranao dance is formed or performed with women wearing malong and shawl, mantle or headpiece, whereas, whereas men wear sash or waistband, shorts or bahag, and headgear or turban traditionally worn in the fields. So para sa kuwa, usag uh, yung sa mga familiar sa kuwa ng. Philippine folk dance, ang Kapa Malumalong. So, ako ni Balaan, ako ni Balaan nga, Muslim dance is the Kapa Malumalong, the Singkil, and the Pangalay. Muna siya ang Muslim dance. So, kita ninyo ang question. So, one siya, dito na siya ordinary malong, but naa siya design, naa siya ay mga borda-borda, may mga, so na siya na design na na. So next is the Habanera Jovencita. This is a Spanish influence dance. Makita ninyo. Can you read, Mr. Reyes? The Habanera is a folk dance that originated from Cuba. It is also known as Danza or Danza Habanera. The Habanera is a social dance in the local time and performed in a ballroom or on a stage. This dance first became popular in the town of Butulan, Zambales. So, ayun mo mga, so, thank you, thank you, Mr. Reyes. So, ang habang nila hubing sita is diligid siya nag-originate sa Philippines. It is just an influence from Spanish country. So, that's why, ginayon siya na Spanish influence dance. Na-adapt na nga sa Pilipinas tungod kay, before, yung mga Spaniards na nakabot sa atuwa sa Pilipinas. That's why, ang culture, And tradition or beliefs sa mga foreign countries before na adapt nato sa Pilipinas. So nakita niyo? The way mo dress, mo na siya klaro. Exactly. So it is a Spanish influence dance. Mo niya ang pre-colonial dance. So ang pre-colonial dance, ang mga costume nato is Maria Clara o Barong Tagalog. So kita niyo. So yes, na bili niyo sa ang habanero bintita. Yes, sir. Very good. Next is Ani, familiar sa tutanan. Ang itik-itik, it is a dance from the mountain province. So, kaduan na ni, mountain province, Japan. So, itik-itik is a Philippines folk dance form created by imitating the movements of a duck. So, kalidaw nga sayaw, nag-imitate sa mga movements, sa mga linog, sa mga duck. Saan na yun? Saan yun? Pato. Pato. Okay, sorry. Pato ang duck. So, such as wading, flying, and short steps and splashing water on their backs like the ducks do. So, makita mo niyang bumit sa duck, di ba? Maganahanap na siya. Maganahanap sa 
Koan. Wak, wak, wak. Yes. So, mereka senyum yang titik-titik. Yes, sir. Kepala bila memang mau anak. So, next is the Matik Saluk dance. It is a tribal dance. As you can see, the picture, muna mga Matik Saluk tribe. So, the Matik Saluk are an indigenous group who live in the Tigua Saluk Valley in the San Fernando in Bukidnon province. So, nara din sa Tuang, Bukidnon. Matik Saluk means people along the Saluk River So now known as the Davao River. Although often classified under the Manobo ethnolinguistic group, the Matiksalog are a distinct subgroup from the Manobo. So what do you mean by distinct? Distinct. Distinct. Many and many sa distinct, wala siya ang kanang talag sa una lang makita or kanang rare na lang makita na mga a some of us di na di nagkapansin ang mga tribes kay tungod lagi sa tungod sa advent of technology sa pagsulod sa technology or modernization sa toa karon nagkalimtan na nato ato ang mga ancestors which is ang mga tribal groups so kinsa na kapamilya sa mga seven tribes sa bukid don so wala so i search ninyo search ninyo lang okay anyway mika on mika on yes Seven tribes. So, sa Bukid na tayo, seven tribes. Muna siya ang, that's why muna ang whole, ang uh, kibalibalaan ng mga, mga festival sa sa Bukid nun. Kita mo sa kanang, para, para lang sa inyong kasayuran, or for your information guys, ang kaning, ang katong costume sa Bukid nun, kita mo sa kaamulan costume nila. Para masayod mo, ang katong ang masuot with sa babae is, ang gin, na ginain mo na ang masuot at ang costume sa babae is only virgin o wala, di paminyo. So, siya. so that's why ang Bukidnon tribe or ang mga tao sa Bukidnon hindi iba sa basta ang musuot ang mga kostyum. So musuot pa lang ta, dapat ato ang tayo justice ang kostyum or ang every din na kukis sa Bukidnon kundi sa nagkasi-kasi nga folk dancers at ang pag-respect or ato ang tayo gusti siyang ilang belief and culture. So now let's proceed to the brief reflection or the values and impact of folk dances. So Philippines has unique traditional dances because of the different styles and different outfits that dancers wear when they dance. Dance has always been a reflection of the pulse and rhythms of man as a social being. It is used to express every moment which has meaning to his life. So for you guys, what is dance? Anyone, you can speak in Bisaya. Para sa inyo, unsa ang saya, unsa ang pagsaya. Anyone just raise your right hand or? Okay, Mr. Tine Francia. Yes, it's okay. First of all, dance is not just about but also na kay di express itself. For example, na kay kanang feeling gusto niya pagawa, so na kay gusto niya pagwati sa mga tao. So first of all, yung ang dance in which we consider that it's a part. Exactly. Okay, through dance we can create a lot of concept. Yes. Just like ang mga folk dance, di ba? So para na, para sa para na, folk dance yung kung yung mga ganon yung mga kung yung sa yung kung dili nagrepresent siya sa kanang cultures and beliefs sa mga tar Filipino. Okay, thank you, Mr. Tine Francia. Exactly. Um, dance is a form of art. Dahil naman tapos sa art, we we can have paintings, sculpture, carving, or unsa pa nang jah. So, kaning dance is a form of art. You know, tungo ngon ni Mr. Tina Francia, it is one way to express your feelings, emotions, or unsa yung gibati. So, through dancing, for example, like kung kami familiar mo anang mga tawag na contemporary dance. So, naubat ang mga masayog ka nang from anang sa kung broken hearted sila. Of course, ang bawang music anang is broken Japan, like about love. So, they express their Um, their broken heart or broken feelings or it's like a thing and sakit kayo through dancing. So kita na kasi kasi kung gusto mo o uh, alive so we can have pop music, pop, uh, pop jazz or mga hip hop mga music. So dance, muna siya. So next, there are a lot of unique Filipino traditional dances because of how they gracefully move and how they use different props. So as what I have said, Um, all of the Philippine folk dances are unique. So, nagkasi-klasi siya. Ito na siya mag-differ mag 
sa belief and culture. For, for example, sa Muslim dance, mao nilang way sa pagsayaw, mao nilang props. For next is a tribal dance or sa ethnic dance. For example, mga um, itik itik, mao nilang costume, mao nilang way sa pagdance sa pagsayaw. So pop dances are traditional dances of the country, which evolved naturally and spontaneously in connection with everyday activities and experiences of the people. So mo ni ginasayo bit sa uban uh, like sa mga uban like familiar mo sa Bayanihan Dance Company. So mo na ilang gabuhion ang ato ang folk dances karon kay sa panahon nato karon kung niin man pagsulod sa technology gakalipan na nato ang classic or sa bayan mga kina, mga past uh, uh, for example kay pop dances gakalipan na nato. So dapat kamo kamo mga estudyante nako ato ag yung buhion ang Filipino folk dances or Philippine folk dances unsa ang to pagbuhi of course through searching the history through reading mga literature about Philippine folk dances kinsa ang mga mga legendary or pioneering mga mga tao nga naga na, naminay mga researches about sa Philippine folk dances Okay pa ba mo? Yes sir. Yes, sir. So these are traditional dances handed down from generation to generation that describe the traditions, belief, occupations, way of life, and characteristic of people living in a certain place. So matong giling mo na naiuban. Until now, di ba ginapasa mo ginapasa na ito ang culture and beliefs at the traditional dances? Sa quotes kita, pag may niyong puhon, inyo ipasa sa inyong anak na kahit nakaagit po ang mga folk dances. Nakagay ko ang tinig niya. Kasayo ko sa una, hapit ko maipit sa kawayan, di ba? So, yun na siya. So, the values were imprinted in the hearts and minds of every Filipinos because of the amazing stories behind every folk dances. So, di rin pasabot na um, nalita na na ako ang folk dances. But still, I, I know nga everyone of you nga busy na sa Mobile Legends o sa Panangadulag. But I know na nagyo po yung nakatatak sa inyong muna muna o sa inyong kasing-kasing na kanin ng folk dances, ah, modern din siya. Kanin din nga sayo is, ah, modern din yung story. Kanin din nga sayo is, ah, mag nag-depect din sa um, culture and beliefs ang inyong lugara. So, manak siya. Gets ninyo? Yes, sir. yes, sir. So, Philippine folk dances reflect not only movements, but also the expression of the Filipino's sense of life. For the Filipinos, dance is a form of worship, an expression or images found in all aspects of their life, like the wind, the rain, the passing of seasons, birth, death, and dreams. So, matong diingon nga each of the folk dances here in the Philippines has a story to tell. So, wala lang kayo nagibuhat nga sayo para ipakita lang ang talintado ang mga dancers kung hindi nag story. Na ay, like for example, na matian, na ay dreams, na ay grief, or sabi na nga mga elements. So aside from enhancing rhythmic movements of students, there are benefits that can be derived and developed from the study of Philippine folk dances. Kung hindi nga kayo basta ng sayo-sayaw ta, lagi po tayo makuha nga binipisyo ani sa pagtuon o pag-perform na po sa Philippine folk dances. And what are they? So first is, can you read? Patriotism and nationalism. Next, healthy form of relaxation and recreation. Next. Well-awakened art appreciation of folk dances. Next. Well-improved posture, graceful and rhythmic coordination of body movements. Next. Preservation of native dances of the different regions for the next generation. Next. The last one. Growth and enhancement of Philippine culture. So I just have to explain, okay, na in your merit na tanan kung unsa ang benefits na makuha nato sa pag-study o pag-perform nato sa traditional Filipino folk dances. Healthy form of relaxation, of course. Improve your posture, of course. Sa Filipino folk dance, as a Filipino folk dance, di lang kayo masayo. You have to be graceful, di ba? Projection, like stance pa lang ninyo, kung sa inyong mga hands gestures, kamot. Tama na siya ang mga benefits. Next is the dance terms and basics, basic dance steps. So karon, na discuss na ako sa inyo ha ang different Filipino folk dances. Karon ato na ato na i-apply. So kinahanglan ko yung participation karon. So I only ano have a, a five dance terms, basic or basic dance step na yata ng ako sa inyo. So pwede man indutatanan. So, 
Pwede ito ipadapin ng mga bangko. Kilid lang. So, linya lang ta, linya lang ta. May mga center ka. So, first is the touch step. So, muna yung unang uh, dance term. Basta ako tarot sa name? Touch step. So, when performing touch step, so you have the stance, muna siya preparatory position. So, hands on the side, then feet 45 degrees. So, sa so touch step, kung sa babae, let's assume na lang na uh, nagkapot mo sa sayal. So, sayal. Tapos sa lalaki, hands at the back. Muna sa lalaki. So, when we say touch step, ang makapoint sa atong tiil is ang toe. So, we have this one. First step, one. Tapos balik sa prepared position. Two. Two. Then three. So, balik ta. Eight counts. Go and. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Moto ang touch step. Kamu da bin. Ready? Four, three, two, start and. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Very good. Napuha ninyo ang touch step. Next is blacking step. So, kaganiya sa touch step, ang ato ang point is ang toe. Karoon sa blacking step is ang heel. So, muna yung heel. Kani? Babe, pakita na sa inyong heel. Kana. Mora, yung point, same counting, same position sa kamot o sa tiil. So, first is, let's start from the right leg. Go ahead. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Come on, last one. Go and. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Very good. Mga Brent. Mga Sir Johnny TV. Good boy. Next is ang brush step. So we are done with. Ito tungo na? Touch step. Touch step. Next. Next step. The third one is the brush step. So brush step, same. Same uh, position sa kamot o sa tiil. So, girls, let's say, ginita. So, sa right side ta una. So, step. Then, brush. Same on the other side. Step, brush. Step, brush. Step, brush. Then, step, brush. Come on down. Ready? Four, three, to start. And, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and one, two. So, I'm right back. Very good. So, next is place. Familiar mo, Ani? Lugar. Lugar. Joker. Joker. Lugar. Place is lugar. There's a Philippine folk dance. A place is a dance step. Or dance turn. So, a place is similar to sa black key or sa touch step. There's a place. Putting your right leg in front without ano, changing your weight. So just put lang, put one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. So come on, job, ready? Four, three, two, start, and one, two, three, one, very good, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, very good. So the last one is. Hop. So sa hop, sa ibang niya po ang angle para sa tungi po tungi niya sa brush. So first step is move your right leg on the right side. One, then hop. Two and hop. Three and hop. Four and hop. So balik ta. So one, two, three, go and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Come on down, ready. Four, three, two, start, and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Very good. So, Karon, let's combine the five dance terms. Kaya ninyo from the touch step, black key, brush step, and play lace. And hop. So, let's start with the touch step. Ready? Four, three, two, start, and one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, black key. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And brush. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Next, please. And one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, hop. One, two, three. 